Delmon's Tech here and this video I'm just going to be showing you guys how you can do a clean install of Snow Leopard on your Mac. Now, there's been a lot of confusion around Apple's Snow Leopard upgrade CDs that they don't support Snow Leopard uh, clean installs. Well they actually do and it's very simple. Uh, there's only a few more clicks uh, involved when you do a clean install uh, than when you do an upgrade. Because obviously an upgrade is way faster. Uh, it just it just like lays the Snow Leopard files on top of the Leopard files. But uh, if you're doing a clean install you have to really just uh, wipe the hard drive and then install Snow Leopard clean onto your hard drive and then put all your stuff back in again. So um, I'd recommend you actually do a time machine backup uh, onto an external hard drive or onto a time capsule even so you can migrate your files back in on the end. So um, there's no technical stuff involved, it's it's pretty easy, it's just a few more clicks and um, all you have to do is just insert your uh, Snow Leopard CD and we'll start from there. So let's go and do a clean install of Snow Leopard. Okay so once you have your CD inserted you should get this uh, little box here, this uh, should come up, Mac OS X install DVD. So once you have this up here, uh, you just go into here, click install Mac OS X. So double click that and it should open. So we have this here, so I'm just going to close down uh, this window behind it, just to save some space on the desktop. So so once you have this here, uh, don't click continue, click utilities down here. So see where, down here where it says utilities. Click that. So when this comes up, it says to restore your computer from a time machine backup, repair your disk using disk utility, or, perf or perform other tasks using utilities, click restart. So that's what we're going to do. You're going to need to do this if you want to actually erase your disk and uh, do a clean install. So once you have that up, just click restart. And your Mac should start uh, going there and it's going to click restart. So I'm just going to type in your password actually, by the way. Uh, you type in your password and click OK. So we're going to restart now into uh, the CD itself and then uh, it should actually boot up into the disk utility so we can actually uh, format our hard drive and uh, just erase it so we can install it uh, clean. Okay so it's booted up now, it took about uh, 5 minutes I suppose to boot up because it has to load all the files off the disk but uh, what it's asking me here is actually to choose my language so I'm just going to uh, choose English for the main language which is the first option here. So I'm just going to click OK, and that's preparing the installation. OK, so I'm just going to wait for this uh, for the title bar to come up here, so what's this up here? OK, so I'll just zoom out for you guys here. OK, so what we're going to do is actually go up to this bar up here, OK, and we're going to go into uh, Utilities. Don't go anywhere near the installer down here, uh, like uh, down here yet, and uh, we're going to go into the Utilities. We're going to click. Uh, where's it gone? We're going to click Disk Utility. Okay. So once you click that, just wait for Disk Utility to open. Okay. So it's going to gather your disk information. Okay. So once that's finished, yeah, uh, you should have a title bar, a uh, sidebar here. So what you're going to click is Macintosh HD. Now this is the partition on your hard drive, this first option here is the hard drive built into your Mac and the second one here is actually the partition on that hard drive that you're going to erase. So what we're going to get, do here is go to the Erase tab and we're going to make sure the format is set to Mac OS Extended uh, Journaled, okay? So it has to be that format because if it's not that format it's not going to work. So uh, that's the default format there so you can see Mac OS Extended and Journaled in brackets. So. Uh, once you have that, you're going to click Erase. So then this thing's going to come up here, and then we're going to click Erase again. So it's going to unmount your disk, and then it's going to literally wipe your whole hard disk. So this could take some time, so we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so it's finished erasing my uh, partition now. Uh, that only took about 20 seconds, really. So uh, I have about 200 gigs on my hard drive, so it really shouldn't take that long. So once you're finished there, you're going to click, uh, go up to the Disk Utility menu up here. Yeah, I'm just going to zoom in on this again. Right, we're just going to go up into the Disk Utility menu and click Quit Disk Utility. Okay. So once you quit that, the installer will come back up here. So let's just uh, zoom back out here. So sorry about this, but I don't have my screen recording software at the moment. But uh, So once it's finished, you're going to click Continue down here. And it's really easy from now on, because you now all the hard steps, that's really as hard as it gets. Uh, so from now on, it's really just uh, easy to install the operating system. So you're going to click Agree. So then you're going to click where you want to actually install um, the Snow Leopard uh, operating system. So
So obviously the your own Mac hard disk, uh, the Macintosh HD. That's the partition that you raised. So we're going to go into customize here. You don't always, you don't have to actually go in here, but I just like to go in here because there are a lot of things you can customize. So I'm going to zoom in here a bit. Okay. So printer support, I think I'm just going to select uh, printers used by this Mac, yeah. And nearby and popular printers as well. All available printers I think takes up too much space, so you don't really need that. So uh, additional fonts here, I like those as well. Uh, language translations, I don't think you need those, I'm not going to install those. Because um, I'm not going to use Japanese and German and French and all these things. So uh, there's no point in wasting like 1.2 gigabyte it says here. I have hard drive, hard drive space. So I'm going to install Rosetta and QuickTime 7 as well, because Rosetta lets you um actually like run uh, old uh like applications that are built for op uh, operating systems before Snow Leopard. Uh, it lets you run them in Snow Leopard so it's pretty good. And it's only three point five megabytes anyway. And QuickTime 7 which is one of the best uh features of Snow Leopard. So let's zoom back out here. So you click OK and you're gonna get this screen again. So once you have this uh you have it all customized and you have clicked uh your partition here I'm just gonna click install. Okay guys, so you can see here that the installation has finished, uh, it's asked me to restart my computer now, so uh, that's pretty much it, it only took about half an hour, so I'm going to restart my Mac now. So we'll just wait for this to finish, then we'll go into the startup uh, wizard. Okay, so here we go. So we're into the setup wizard here. So it says welcome, so we're going to go into... Uh, just select your country here, so I'm just going to select Ireland. So continue, so uh, select your keyboard layout, yeah, Irish. Okay, so continue. Now this is the screen that we actually want. This is the screen that we're going to actually migrate uh, our old files into our new Mac. So you can see here, I'll just zoom in a bit more. Okay. So it says, if you have important information on another Mac, you can transfer it to this Mac. You can also transfer information from another volume on this Mac, or from a time machine backup. Uh, the information on your other Mac will not be affected. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So, if you have another Mac that you want to actually transfer your files from, uh, you can do that. So you can click uh, this this uh, little radio button here uh, from another volume on this Mac. So that's if you have, like maybe like if you manually put it onto it, like an external hard drive, or from a time machine backup, which is what I'm going to do. Because um, yeah, I've I've backed up all my all my data onto a time machine backup, which is really the handiest way to do it. So um, once you click this, just click continue. Or whichever one you want to do, you can always do it later if you uh, click done and transfer this information now. You can uh, open up the migration wizards, wizard sorry, in uh, Mac OS X. So I'm going to click Time Machine back up here and click continue. Okay, so it's finished now. We have all the files uh, set up. So it's calculated all these and it says here remaining space 499.7 gigabyte. So what we're going to do now is just transfer it once you click all the ones you want. Uh, probably should click all of them I suppose. So uh, we're just going to click transfer. So that's transferring all my system files and settings. So this will probably take actually longer than uh, actually installing the operating system itself. So once this is finished, I'll come back when I get to my desktop and uh, just talk to you a bit more about some other stuff. So uh, see you in a sec. Okay, so it's restored all my files now and then it asks you a few more questions and then uh, it goes back to your Mac desktop again. So all my files and uh, applications are restored here. So hopefully my Mac is faster, maybe not, maybe it is or I'm not sure if it is or not, but at least I made a video. So um, so thanks for watching guys, this is how to do a clean install of Snow Leopard on your Mac. Uh, so thanks for watching, subscribe to me here on YouTube uh, or follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash and there's a link to that in the description as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.